There we go. Yeah. There we go, guys. Told you. There'd be one right at the bend. Oh. Woo, that's a good fish, too. Not bad. <laughs> What is up guys? It is Ozzy Fishing Adventures and today I got a crazy action-packed video up here for you guys. Today I went to my favorite creek. As you know, I fish this creek a lot and catch tons and tons and tons of rainbows. But today I want to give you guys some tips on fishing pocket water because a lot of people just skip all the pocket water. And what pocket water is, is there's small pockets between really, 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 really deep pools that a lot of people pass and think, oh, there's not fish in there. You're missing a lot of fish if you're not fishing the pocket water. So let's just get straight into it, guys. I got a bunch of tips, got a bunch of stuff for you guys. You're gonna love this video because guess what? I caught 13 fish in this video. So make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's get straight to fishing, guys. I know you're gonna love this one. All right, guys, so today I am not using this reel. <laughs> today I didn't use this reel, but right now I don't have the reel I currently was using on because I just got this brand new reel and I've been putting it to work. And I've caught a few fish on it, but it's been hard lately. It's just been a rough few weeks. But going up to that, I, I was just using a plain old squirmworm. Now, this squirmworm had two sides to it before. Now it's just one because the fish ate the other side off. <laughs> That's the only reason I don't have a full squirm on there, but I'm just doing this for the purpose of telling you what I was using because I totally forgot to do it in the video. Okay, now let's continue. All right, just get to run it through this pocket. Boom, got one, just like that. That quick, Whew. first try of the day. Yeah, it's definitely a nice little rainbow, yep. Let's go, first try on this brand new rod, guys. I'll tell you the story about this rod in a second. Because what happened was I actually got this rod from Wooly Bugs. All right, don't want to lose this guy. Nice little rainbow, not that big, but man, that has some gorgeous colors on him. Oh. He's not done yet. <laughs> Come on, get in there. There we go. Gorgeous rainbow. Man, look at the colors on that thing. That's the thing I like about this creek. The trout are absolutely gorgeous in here. Let's get this guy on hooks. All right, guys, let's go. First trout of the day. It's been a long day. And finally, I went to a new creek and boom. First trout of the day in a matter of a few casts. So let's get this guy. Well, he's actually already unhooked. I'm about to get a nice little release on him. Look at that gorgeous trout. Awesome coloration on that thing. Get going. There he goes, man. Nothing like getting the first of the day. Let's see how long it takes to get the second, man. Woo! All right, guys. Oh, cannot leave these just sitting down there. <laughs> man, you don't know how many of those pliers I've lost. Lost too many of those things. Cannot afford to lose another one. All right, let's get back to the top of the hole. Got that guy right on the actually outside pocket of this hole. There we go. Boom, another one. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. There's another one. Boom. <laughs> second try of the day, second cast. Look at that, another little rainbow. A little bit bigger than the last one. But damn. <laughs> Dang! Another one! <laughs> it's not the same trout eater, I can tell. Another one has beautiful colors on it. Wow. Perfect peck fins too. I don't know what they're doing when they're growing these trout, but the trout in this creek are absolutely gorgeous at all times. They're always colorful. Let's get this beautiful rainbow trout unhooked. Wow. Another beautiful one. Look at that gorgeous trout. The colors on these rainbows are absolutely amazing. And they got some decent peck fins for coming out of the stock tank. These fish really do fight hard. This creek is always full of fish. I don't think I've ever been to this creek when there's no fish in it. I mean, that's already the second fish of the day. There he goes. All right, guys, so what I'm doing is I'm keeping my arm in. In order to cast this right, for you beginner fly fisherman, I'm just keeping my arm in and I'm using my wrist. I don't want to use my arm because I used to use my arm. Watch this. Boom. Bring that with fast water. Wait for another take. No way. <laughs> no way. I think I just missed one. 
All right, guys, we're to the top of this hole. There has to be a trout behind this rock. There's a, there's a fish back here. I know it. Because they stalk this creek like crazy. There's wild browns. There's everything. Watch this. Right behind this rock. So what I'm going to do is I want to place this a little bit behind the rock because I want the current to take it down because I don't have a lot of weight on. Boom. Right there. Oh, I had one. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I had a fish there. It really felt like it. Boom. Yep. What did I tell you? There was one back there, all right. It's an all right one. Let's go, man. That looks like a brown. Oh, crap. He's going down that current. No, you don't. No, that's a rainbow. That's a rainbow. Nice fish, though. Actually, I think that might be a big fall fish. I think that's exactly what... That's a big fall fish. That's what that is. No, that's a rainbow. That's a rainbow. <laughs> oh my gosh, though, guys. Free fish of the day. It's only been like 15 minutes. Come on, man. Oh, no, not yet. He's not ready yet. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. As I said, these fish love the fight. All right. I think he's ready now. Oh, crap. My... Where'd he go? Oh, he's out there now. All right. I need to put my rod... My... My rod. <laughs> my net down. So that's an all right fish. He's fighting hard, man. Could be another one in here. This is nuts. Free fish on the day in a matter of like 15 minutes. Oh, no, no, don't go back. Oh, no. All right, all right, give him some more time. It's a fat fish. He has some energy, man. Does not want to come in easy. Thank you so much, Wooly Bug, for giving me this rod. I am absolutely slaying him today. All right, I think he's ready now. Is he ready? Oh, no. <laughs> come on, man. Let's cooperate. It's a beautiful fish. Yeah, let's go, man. Gorgeous rainbow trout. I can't believe nobody's back here. It's Memorial Day, guys, so I'm just back here slaying them. Oh my, look at that fish. Hook popped right out. Awesome rainbow trout. Look at the fins on that fish. I almost feel like there's wild rainbows and look at, look at the fins on this fish. This fish almost looks wild. It's crazy, I think these might be wild rainbows, but nobody believes me. Look at the fins on this thing. Look at how big its peck fins are. Gorgeous trout right there. It's too bad he won't put his fins out. But look, there's the reason I think they're wild. Look at the fins on that thing. Those are not rubbed off at all. You can tell this fish didn't go into a stock tank. See, look at the fins. See, now he's got them out. Oh, now he's... <laughs> I'm just trying to show you guys. Get going, buddy. There he goes. All right. Third fish of the day, man. Nothing like it. Beautiful day. Not too sunny out. Got a bunch of canopy here covering the stream for me. It's gonna be a fun day. All right guys, so I know for a fact I'm gonna get a trout out of this hole. I might get two or three as I did the last, I mean, I was nuts. Already got free trout on the day. Did a little bit of walking, not too far though. I ain't go too far. Oh, come on. I hate sometimes how this fly line does not wanna come through. All right guys, so how I mentioned that GoPros like to act up, well, I hooked the fish and my GoPro froze but I still got the release on the fish, so check it out. All right, guys, fourth fish of the day. I'm not sure if this fish went for it, if it just happened to get his body on it, as you saw. I hooked it in the, in the body. Like, come on. <laughs> come on, buddy, just let me get a good picture of it. It's obviously stocky. See, you can see it's rubbed fins off. Still, nice rainbow. And there he goes. There we go. Yeah, there we go. I said, oh my God, look at all the trout on the other side. You see them all? Holy cow. They're like all baby, I think those are all baby wild browns or something. There's a nice little rainbow. There's a stocked rainbow, but looks like there's a ton of, you see them all? Look at them all move. Oh my gosh. What the heck? What the heck? All right, let me get this guy in first, then I'll focus on them. That's nuts. Whoa. Hard fighting fish. There we go. This guy's missing a little bit part of his gill plate. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, okay, dude, 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 can you calm down? Look, he's missing like his... Why in the heck is this light screwing with me? There we go, look at that. He's missing half its gill plate. <laughs> Alright, let's get this guy released, he's going nuts. Like I said, these fish in this creek just have so much energy, and that's why I love this creek, and the thing is, there's so many trout in this creek, it's nuts. And it's not very well... Look, he's missing his gill. 
All right, get going, buddy. Give me a wild brown, maybe. I don't know. All I know is, got a lot of water to work with. Going, guys. <laughs> Didn't expect it. Nice little rainbow again. Oh, goodness. All right, calm down, buddy. Calm down. <laughs> He's going mad. He's going mad. All right. Knew there had to be one in there. Couldn't pass this. This guy's not fighting too hard like the other ones I've had. Come on. Yeah, this guy's lazy. Oh, well, maybe not. Maybe he's not that lazy. Okay, okay, okay. All right, there we go. We got him. <laughs> nice little rainbow once again, though. Let's go, man. That's what I'm talking about. That's why I made the switch. At first I went to a different place and I got shut out for a whole two hours and I was like, why in the heck didn't I just come to this creek? I just didn't feel like going for, you know, rainbows that aren't stocked, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do to catch beautiful fish like this, even though it's not a wild fish. Still, gorgeous rainbow trout. And they fight hard too. It's not like these guys don't fight. This guy didn't fight too hard though. This guy didn't put up a fight at all. <laughs> the other ones have been though. There he goes. All right, guys, so in this next clip, I looked at a really nice rainbow trout. It wasn't anything like 20 plus or anything, but it put up one crazy fight. But the way I looked it was, it was in a really small pocket, but it was a really, really, really deep small pocket. But what I did was I cast it to the front of my squirm worm. You want to cast, when you're fishing like these little pockets, you want to cast above the pocket. So then eventually like your worm sinks down and it sinks down naturally because if it sinks down too fast and a fish sees it, it's going to be like, it's not going to eat that. <laughs> so what you got to do is you got to cast it as far as you can, you know, up the hole and then let it sink slowly into the hole. And then eventually if that worm gets in front of somebody's face, not, not somebody's, <laughs> the fish's face, it's going to hammer it. Usually those rainbows aren't pretty, stu they're pretty stupid, but that doesn't mean that they're not stupid. I mean, a holdover like this. It wasn't a stupid fish. The way to trick it though, the way I tricked it was because I cast it all the way to the front of the hole and got a really nice natural drift. That's how I got the fish to take. Now let's get straight into it guys. This fish put up an amazing fight. There we go. Yeah. Woo. Oh yeah. There we go guys. Told you. There'll be one right at the bend. Oh. Ooh, that's a good fish too. Not bad. <laughs> oh my gosh. That thing just took off. <laughs> okay, okay. Get back a little bit. I'm gonna play this fish out a little bit. I wanna tire him out. He's fighting hard. Look at that drag just peeling. That's nuts. It's an alright fish, it ain't even that big. I mean, it's pretty good. It's not bad fish. He's not budging, that's a good fish. <laughs> Has some weight. <laughs> He's working me. Alright, I need to get him out of this current. Oh, there he goes again, taking off. <laughs> Come here. Oh man, that's a good fish. That is actually a really nice fish. It wasn't just because that fish was in the current. That's a good fish. <laughs> that's actually a really nice bow. Come here. Oh my God. Woo. My goodness, come on, man. Just give up. Yes, let's go. Let's go, man. Oh, that is a gorgeous trout. Look at that. That is a beast, a beast. That's why I came here, boys. I'd say it's a good day. That was awesome. I got some good pictures of this. There we go. Look at that gorgeous trout. Oh, there he goes. He's good. Oh, is he all right? Yeah, he's going back down. He's good. He's good. Oh, I'm just trying to make it. There's a nice deep pocket right on the outside over here. It's gotta be kind of hard to get to. 
Might be able to lay it right in there though. Oh yeah, I just laid it right in there. That's jackpot. Come on, that's money. Give me a fish right there. That was a really beautiful fish though I just caught. Stocky or not, that was an awesome trout. There we go. Yep. Crap. Holy cow, did I hook that guy in the side? No, this guy looks like, whoa! <laughs> All right, well, there's a trout, though. Looks like somebody hooked them or something, or if that's just a... Looks like that's a, that's a mark or something on them. Fighting hard, though. That's all that matters to me, yeah. Ah, it looks like something took a... Yeah, something took a big bite out of this one. <laughs> took a big old bite out of this. Jeez, I'm kind of... I don't want to touch this fish out. Look at that. It's almost like it has some defect or something. Get in here. There we go. Still, rainbow. Let's get it. Wow, guys, this squirmworm has been through wear and tear. Six fish already on the day. Six decent fish. They're fighting so hard today. I don't know why. They're always fighting hard in this creek. But look, still got a perfect squirmworm. Wow, guys, what awesome scenery is around me. And also, what beautiful rainbows I'm catching. I still haven't caught a wild fish. I'm actually, I'm really wondering if there are wild rainbows in this creek because some of these fish I'm catching, they have some big peck fins for stock fish. I mean... They're fully developed, some of them. As I said, like, you know, that big rainbow that I caught earlier had nice peck fins, and it just gave up an amazing fight. Did not fight at all like a stockfish. So they're either A, holdovers, or B, they're actually wild rainbows. I'm not sure. All I know is we're catching a ton of fish today. All right, guys. So this next clip, of course, my GoPro froze again, and I hooked the fish. So here's the release of the fish. <laughs> Man, these GoPros, I love them, but at the same time, I absolutely hate them. <laughs> Beautiful colors on that one. Every single rainbow in this creek has some gorgeous colors, as I was saying. Get them released. Hopefully, I get another one today, but man, today is a good day for trout fishing. Wow. There he goes. He's good. Man, guys, this is really one gorgeous stream. I cannot emphasize that enough. I keep saying that, I know, but... It really is one Mr. Gorgeous stream. Mr. Squirmworm is going down there. Right in this hole in front of me. First I'm just put it in the fast water, then after that I'm gonna try to put it in the slower water. Oh, that was a bite. Did not expect that at all. I really lifted my rod and I had one twice now. Oh crap, there we go. Whoa, <laughs> you see that? <laughs> There's something in here, all right. I'm gonna get him. Finally, there he is. <laughs> Man, he just kept hammering that thing. Finally got a hold of it. Feels like an all right fish. I can't see him yet. Oh yeah, another rainbow, I'm pretty sure. This place is just full of rainbows. Such a fun place to fish, guys. Whoa, nice little jump there. All right, man. That's what I'm talking about. This is like the ninth fish of the day. It has to be. Little one. Oh, come on. All right, guys, let's keep moving. I pretty much covered all the good water, but man, it's, this is such a gem of a creek. It might be all stock fish. I don't care. Look, these fish fight so hard. Most of them, some of them that I caught today didn't fight like anything, but the big ones and the ones that I like to catch. Oh man, this is an awesome creek. I might be, I think I'm walking right through a trout hole, so I better get fishing. <laughs> All right. Don't tell me there isn't a fish in this little pock. It's not really a little pock, it's pretty deep actually. Nice and long. The only thing is I'm left handed, so it's gonna be kind of a challenge to cast that way. Put it right back up. Might need some more weight for this. No, I don't. Whoa! No, I do not need more weight at all. <laughs> all right, there you go. There you have it. It's an all right fish. All right, nice little rainbow. Whoa! Taking off downstream. Need to get him. Need to get below him probably, but I don't want to dirty up the water too much. Oh, good, he's coming right in. And that's a fat one too. Oh, there we go. Nice rainbow. Oh yeah. Woo, he has tons of energy too. Calm down, buddy. There we go. Automatic unhook, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, baby. 
beautiful rainbow. That's a gorgeous fish. Let's get him released while we can so we can get another one out of this hole. Come on, buddy. Look at that. Oh! <laughs> And there he goes. Hooked up, guys. Oh, yeah, nice one. Decent fish, it seems like. It's fighting hard. Oh, it's run downstream quick. I have to reel in really quick. Jeez, it's a hard fighter. Another rainbow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Sorry, I didn't get the strike on carries. What happened was I'm trying to save battery because I'm running out of it. <laughs> Wish I could have got the strike on camera. That thing nailed this sucker. All right. Oh, whoa. Not exactly ready yet. This thing has my rod bent. Has some deep, that's a nice one. Oh yeah, another, another gorgeous, decently sized rainbow. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look, as I said though, guys, I want to show you these fish's peck fins. These are not, they don't look like average fish's peck fins. They really don't look like, here, I'll show you in a second once I get them unhooked. Look at that fish in the neck, guys. That's another good one. Whoa! <laughs> Calm down, buddy. He has no chill. It's another fat fish, though. There we go. Get a good angle at him. Look at the colors on that one. Too bad I can't get all the colors on him. Okay. Time for you to get released, buddy. You're going nuts. <laughs> fish is beautiful, though. Look at that. Hopefully you can see him all right. Oh, there he goes. All right, guys, what a great day on the water, man. At least 12 or 13 fish today. I did fish for a good six, seven hours, but still, this creek is so gorgeous. The fish bite so hard, even though they are stocked, some of them. I swear, some of these rainbows, I swear they're wild by how big their peck fins are and how hard they fight. I mean, whoo, they really do put up an awesome fight. But wow, awesome day with the brand new rod. Big shout out to Wooly Bugs. He actually provided me with this rod because what happened was me and him went out on a trip. I'm not sure if I said this already. Me and him actually went out on a trip together and first, first cast, like I was, I ain't even cast yet. First hole, I went to grab like my line to get, you know, fly line out. And I guess I grabbed too high on like my stick or something. And I grabbed it. And as I grabbed it and lifted it up to get the line out, snap. <laughs> oh. And then, yeah. So the whole entire trip, I was using my dad's rod, but what happened was when I got back to the car, I was about to go searching for eBay, you know, for a new rod, and Wooly Bug just, you know, hands me a new rod, and he's like, I have, no, I have no, nothing to do with this rod. It's gonna keep sitting in the back of my car forever. I'm like, you didn't have to do that, man, but that's awesome. I love this rod, too. Thank you so much, Wooly Bug. Like, seriously, Wooly Bug might go check out his channel. Link in the description below. He is an awesome guy. And he knows how to slay them little brook trout, I'm telling you. And also, he just does, he just loves fishing with wild trout overall. Fishing for wild trout overall like me. So make sure you go check him out. Make sure you smash that like button if you haven't yet. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And see you on the next Auntie Fishing Adventure, guys. I am out.